Champion of Kirkwall. That was the reward. <laughs> A fine title. Every noble at the keep owed the champion their lives. She wasn't just a hero. She was now the most important person in the city. Except for Knight Commander Meredith, of course. With the Viscount dead, she stepped in to keep order. Things quickly got out of hand. The more she squeezed the mages, the more they resisted. The more they resisted, the tighter she squeezed. After three years of that, it all came crashing down. I know you fear us. Knight Commander Meredith uses that fear to take control of your city. She opposes every effort to replace Viscount Dumar. And you have seen the chaos of her reign. Will you allow it? No. Return to your homes. This farce is over. Wait! Perhaps there are some who might disagree with you, Knight Commander. The Champion has proven herself Kirkwall's greatest defender. I doubt that she favors sedition. It would be better if you both calm down, before this gets violent. I should remain calm, while a mage provokes an uprising. I think not. I think the Champion's views would be appreciated, or do you fear what she has to say? Not at all. Do you agree with the First Enchanter's accusations, Champion? What are you trying to do here? Cause a rebellion? The people of this city need to know what is really happening. And then what? They tear down the gallows with pitchforks and torches? That would be better? It cannot be worse. Your refusal to listen to reason leaves me no choice. What I refuse to listen to are excuses. Perhaps you are ill-fit to your position if you cannot understand this. Threatening each other isn't going to help matters. And what should I do instead? Allow this to continue? Your measures have become more extreme over the last three years. And you could do better? How well did you guard your own mother? Did she not die at a blood mage's hands? Why don't you just stab me in the back while you're at it? Cold corpses speak louder than abstract freedoms, do they not? As long as that's true, Kirkwall needs its Templars more than it needs a new ruler. And when will that end? When will you stop seeing evil in every corner? When it's no longer there. The First Enchanter accused you of trying to take control of the city. The city? I am trying to keep order until there is a ruler capable of succeeding where Dumar failed. And if not, will the Templars rule Kirkwall forever? We will not stand idle while the city burns around us. The Templar Order exists to guard the Chantry and Circle. I suggest you let the nobility rule the city. I do not need you or anyone to tell me what my duty is, Mage. If Kirkwall wants Meredith to step down, they'll tell her to. Are you mad? They fear her. Everyone fears her. No matter what, Knight Commander. He has a point. Face the truth, Knight Commander. You are done. That is for me to decide, no one else. Oh yeah, I got Arcade Defender. All right. My, my. Such a terrible commotion. This mage incites rebellion, Your Grace. I am dealing with the matter. Ah, Orsino. So frustrated. Do you think this is truly wise? I... No, Your Grace. Of course not. Young men, would you show the first enchanter back to the circle? Gently, if you please. Your grace! He should be clapped in irons! Made an example of! That's enough, Meredith. This demeans us all. Surely you can see that. Go back to the gallows and calm down, like a good girl.
You have my thanks for stepping in, champion. If you had not... You're the Grand Cleric. Aren't you in charge of the Templars and Circle? Oh, my. You have quite the estimation of my abilities. Gentle people of Kirkwall, return to your homes, I implore you. This will not be solved today. And now I must attend to the gallows. They will see reason if the Maker wills it. Thank you again, champion. New codex, mantle of the champion. Ooh. Oh, what? Good. <clears throat> new codex, um, Satara. Uh, new quest, the storm, and what came before it. New quest, the last straw. New quest, who needs rescuing? New quest, check on Anders. <laughs> New quest, champions and captains. New quest, speak to Fenris. New quest, Isabella's regret. New quest, visit Gamblin. Oh dear, is that it? Then you want something else from me? <laughs> oh gosh. Welcome back to Two Hours in a Trench Coat. I'm Minhearts3, and today. Welcome to Act 3. Friends, we finally made it. <laughs> oh gosh, I was just loathing the act, like, <clears throat> the thought of actually going through and doing the fight with the air shock again. And thank goodness I was loathing it because last time was perfect. I don't think he got a single hit on me. I think maybe once. And then the second time, I got that weird thing where he, like, it, like spears you through the center and then lifts you up i got that twice and it just wasn't a good time but anyway um it's been a while uh i'm getting over being sick um allergy season is in full swing yeah i'm living my best life apparently right now but today we are now officially in act three we have so many markers on this map my gosh, we have level ups. Uh, the Hubert needs our help. Um, Terabus, uh, I need to go to the Hawk Estate for something called On the Loose. There's me. Um, and Nuncio, I think I remember that name. That name sounds familiar for some reason. And they're in front of the Red Light District, Red Lantern District, which is where the brothel is. Yeah, the Blooming Rose. Um, we got a bunch of... We got a bunch of everything. We got inventory items. <clears throat> Did we get what I think we got? I know we just got gloves of the champion. Uh, so they are... Ooh, they're better than what I'm wearing. Uh, 67 to armor. They have a rune slot. They're silver, right? Plus 1 to magic. Plus 12 to mana and stamina. Plus 35 to attack. Requires 31 to magic. 18 to willpower. And requires you to be a mage to wear it. Bonus for completion completed set item. We only have the gauntlets right now, which are better than what we're wearing. So obviously, I might just I'm just gonna pop those on right now. Um, ornate amulet. We just got stuff. We have things, stuff and things. <clears throat> I wonder if this is. I think that's the beginning part of like the armor set that you get for each class at the end. And I'm pretty sure like in most Dragon Age like community circles that at least for Dragon Age 2 that mage hawk is the canon hawk. It doesn't matter male or female, mage hawk is canon hawk apparently. And you know, I'm here for it. I love being a mage. It's not enough to be a mage in a Dragon Age game. I think I need to be one in real life too. It's just not enough. And yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting the rest of that set because I really do love it. It's one of my favorite um, pieces in almost all of the video games. I think second to the shape that you get at the end of Trespasser. Who's wearing it? It might be a little spoilers, but um, Caperni is wearing it. That is also a very favorite piece of mine. 
I wouldn't say they're like number one, number two, but I think they're like equal in standing because I just like them. Like if I had the opportunity to wear them, oh that and Meryl's fit. Like I definitely wear wear Meryl's fit. It's very nice. Anyway, fashion aside, I could talk about fashion all day because video game fashion astounds me. But okay, <clears throat> so the last straw was a main plot quest. Seems like we only have one. I'll read it off really quickly. The first enchanter Orsino is openly challenging Knight Commander Meredith's reign. The situation is growing more violent. There is a letter waiting from the Knight Commander that may offer more. So I have to go home to read it. Uh, all these companion quests. Visit Meryl in her home. Or just just go check up on your friends. Yeah, just go yeah, we're just gonna go check up on our friends. Where she's been seen drinking. Oh, she's resurfaced after years. Oh, she came back. Cool. I didn't know she left. Uh, secondary is visit Gamlin. Has been alone since mother died. It might be a good idea to check up on him and his home in Motown. Okay. Memento of the past. Uh, return home and re yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are going to tackle the premium content right off rip, like off beat. So I want to do the legacy DLC first. And then just kind of like trinkle from there. Uh, the Far Cliffs of Kirkwall go home and check on a special. Yeah, yeah. I just need to. I need to figure out what the Lothering's Lament and the Far Cliffs of Kirkwall is. But I know a Memento of the Past is like a DLC where you go somewhere. I don't know about the other two, but I know about that one. That one's the Legacy DLC. And I want to do that one before we really jump into anything. Uh, who needs rescuing? Original Thaddeus. What? Uh, champion. You simply must help me. My daughter Orlana was abducted by foul bandits. One of my servants have discovered she was taken somewhere in the wounded coast. I bid you make haste, for I fear those little born scum will take her maidenhood. That would make the arrangements of a suitable marriage for her very difficult. Please return Orlana to me intact. Reginald Thaddeus. Hmm. Interesting. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll get on that like soon I didn't have many plans for this episode at all because I really just wanted to jump start into getting into it and then kind of like lay down my ground plan or like what I want to do first but um I mean I guess we could go check on all our companions I feel like that might lead into something bigger but checking on them can't be too bad if anything, I'm going to do my level ups and then we'll get started. Okay, so where are we? We're in front of the keep. If I can't keep. Yeah. You know you still owe me Let's... five sovereigns, Elf. I'm good for it. So you think you can win the coin from Isabella? <laughs> good luck with that. Coming to the hanged man for wicked grace later? Never miss it. Oh, it's so great seeing all of them three years later, and everyone's like, "You've ah. certainly come a long way, Hawk." Oh, thanks. Like seeing how everyone's friendships have come along after all these years together. Like, dear heavens. That ruckus has been going on for some time. Can oh. you calm him down? Rip, 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 rip. Where is he? Is he in the room? Is he here? Where where is my dog? Where is Rainier? Where is Oh, Verona. I hope all is well, mistress. It's been years, and it's still difficult going into Mother's room. I was like, I wonder if they'll make her room exist now, but I guess not. Oh. Easy boy. What is it? <coughs> All right, let's see. Please don't open the door. Oh, uh you've caught a burglar. Good boy. My legs are cramping. Please, just let me go. 
You expect me to just let you walk out of here? Please, Sarah. I was seduced by a crime at a very young age, but your guard monster has scared me towards a path of honest work. I'll give you to the count of five before I sick my Mabari on you. What? Surely you wouldn't. One. B but. Two. <laughs> three, four, five. Make sure our guest leaves quickly. Hopefully that won't be a problem for later. One of the few things Orana owns. I could have left the amulet in there and forgotten all about it. What would the witch have done then? <laughs> Things have been very troubling these last few years, haven't they? I, uh, I was thinking that it might soon be time for my boy and I to move on. Back to the merchant's life, I suppose? It's an honor to serve the champion of Kirkwall. Make no mistake, but I'm getting older. It's time to see the Sandal's future. I'll stay on until arrangements are made. I hope that's all right. If you're worried about Sandal, I can help him out. Oh, oh that's mighty kind of you, but it's unnecessary. My boy's been offered a position in Orlay. It seems the Empress herself found one of his enchantments and is intrigued. Can you imagine? Us in the Imperial Court. Hopefully this business with the Templars doesn't get worse before we go. I worry about you, Miss Eyre. Oh, it'll be sad to see them go. The old lady is scary. There is no old lady, Sandal. How many times do I have to tell you that? What's this about? Oh, my boy sees things sometimes. Says he saw an old lady standing by his bed. She has a scary laugh. Yes, well, there you go. Enlightening, truly. Are these all new? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Okay, let's crack knuckles. Let's begin reading. It's at the start of Act 3. Here we go. On the loose. Champion, I require your assistance in a matter of great urgency. Please report to the Templar Hall in the Gallows at your earliest convenience. Sincerely, Knight Commander Meredith. Ooh, interesting. Uh, we already read Who Needs Rescuing. Uh, Messer Hawk, in case you don't remember me, we met in the gallows a few years ago. You saved my life. Twice, in fact. <clears throat> once from Sir Alric, and once from someone else. It's not the kindest thing to say, but nobody misses Alric. Not even the other Templars. I know it's hard to imagine, but they don't want to fight. They want things to be normal. No harrowings, no tranquil, and no one dying. But none of us are getting that wish now. So many dark whispers in the circle. Terrible days are coming for us all. I pray the Maker keeps you safe. Sincerely, Ella. So... Oh, is that the girl from the quest? From Descent? Anders's quest from last act. Okay, I think that might be the someone else that she's inquiring about, but I'm not sure. Uh, a letter from Tevinter. Dear Hawk, or is it Champion Hawk? The story of how you handled the Arashok is very popular here. There are a few things that Tevinters love more than a tale of Quinari defeat. To say the Imperium is a strange place would be a vast understatement. Men and women work magic in the streets while their slaves look on. 
I watched my own master kill a rival magister in a duel just days ago. Sometimes I look around and I think I understand the Templars back in Kirkwall. My studies are going well. My dreams don't trouble me as much these days. I'm hopeful that, in time, I'll master myself. I just wanted to thank you. I owe you more than my life. I owe you my mind and my future. Fenrir! Oh my gosh, it's so nice to hear from him. Good that he's doing great. I hope that's like... A master is in a teacher, or not a master is in he's a slave. I'm hoping that's the circumstance. Uh, a fancy, oh, a letter in a fancy envelope. Messer, interest rates are the lowest they've been in 200 years, making this the perfect time to take out a mortgage on your estate. The next Viscount will likely raise rates, and if you wait too long, this chance will pass you by. When the Chantry demands tithes on our all high town estates, where will you be? The lending house of Tencum, Salmer, and Greece can take you through the process of mortgaging your estate with ease and confidence, leaving you with nothing to do but admire your wealth. Speak to our accountant in the Dwarven Merchants Guild for a free consultation before time runs out. The one thing I like about Dragon Age 2 is, like, it has a mail system, so you have, like, a writing desk, and you get some pretty realistic mail. This is the equivalent to, hi, we've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. And I'm like, please leave me alone, I don't want your junk mail. Ooh, a letter from Marcino. Champion, you deserve your new title, despite what Knight Commander Meredith might prefer. You and I both know what would have happened had you not been there to face the Quinari. I'm sure you received no shortage of accolades from the powers that be in this city, but for what it's worth, I'm sending a gift from the Circle of Magi too. Use it well. Regards, First Enchanter Orsino. What did he send me? New quest on the loose. Quest updated, who needs rescuing, new items, and robes. Robes. <clears throat> Ooh, shoot, dang. I like my outfit, though. <laughs> I really do like my outfit. I don't really like the mage robes because I don't like the long robes that go to the ground. It just seems impractical to me. But, um, gold threaded. Ooh. Uh, 151 armor, plus 36 mana and stamina, 88 to attack, and plus 5 to mana and stamina regeneration rate. Requires 24 magic and for 15 willpower. I can't see them because I'm inside my house. But once we leave, we will know what that looks like. Um, we should go, we should do a little shopping. Do a little shopping. AKA, we should do a little selling. And then I'm just gonna like tidy up on things now that we have a lot of stuff. But I just want to tidy up on things and then oh she's not available okay yeah we'll go see we can go see our companions i think we have time go see our companions and everything um these guys let's say maybe i should go on my own but you know maybe not um let's go to low town I'm gonna go see Camp Gamblin, too. So who is Bianca? My crossbow. Say hello, Bianca. But why Bianca? You must have named her after someone. Nope. Mirabel was taken. The way you fondle your weapon is disturbing. Hey, I'm a perfect gentleman. In public. Yeah, man. I guess everyone had a level up or something. Okay. The apparel shop. Might you need a new outfit, champion? Man, yeah, now everyone's gonna call me champion. Can I just access your shop, please? There we go. Sell. So, um. Oh, that was a weapon. Oh, shoot. Um, we'll get to that. What is this? This is a generic item. Kunari sword. Um, okay, I'm buying it. 
New quest, Lost Swords. Okay. Journal. Uh, side quests. The Lost Swords. Find the Quinari miss- Oh, find the missing Quinari blades and return them to- Oh, Tarabas in Hightown. Oh, okay. The person that I didn't talk to but immediately went into my house because I was like, you know what? I don't freaking care. <laughs> or, yeah, I'll get to you later. Um, a ring called Pretty Little Things. Enemies drop more coin. Ooh, I'm always fond of enemies dropping more coin. And Belt of the Silent Sisters. That is very nice, too. Ooh. Ain't sovereign ain't bad. I'll say that. I'm sure you miss your uncle from time to time, but his house does smell very strange, even from the street. Does it? I can't smell anything. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Door. Same old, same old house. Ooh, a crumpled note. Gamlin, I found the gem of Karashek. If you want it, come to Darktown alone. Leave that alone. There are things in my life that don't actually involve you, you know. Stay out of my business, girl. Oh, I just came over here to check on you, Gamlin. That note mentioned the gem of Karashek. What's that? Karashek. It's nothing. Never mind. If you're worried about who sent the note, I can go in your place. Did I ask for that? I don't know who sent it, and I don't want to. I lost everything chasing that gem. Our fortune, our home, even Mara. Who's Mara? She's... None of your concern. That's who she is. Why don't you head back to your fancy house in Hightown and stay out of my damn business? Quest updated. Gimlin's greatest treasure. But X updated. Hmm. Who's Mara? Huh, well, what can you do? Okay, let's well, go down and let's uh, wrap around he's a little bit. dangerous to himself and everyone around him. I think he's broken the thing he wanted to save. You pity him because he's you. Breaking the things you love most isn't restricted to mages, Fenris. Sadly true. Who were they talking about? Pity who? I still don't know what the big tree is for. It's sort of pretty, I suppose. Well, is it like called the Tree of the People or something? I can't remember. Come on, Daisy. You've been holed up in here for days. If you don't get some sunshine, you'll wilt. I'm not a plant, Beric. I'm fine. Just take a walk around the low town market. Get some air and I'll stop bothering you. I know you mean well, but I have too much to do right now. I'll let you talk some sense into her, Hawk. Beric is very sweet. Frequently infuriating and a terrible busybody, but sweet. Were you looking for me? Nothing's wrong, is it? Nothing's the matter. I thought I'd see how you were doing. And I'm being a poor host, as usual. In the market the other day, out of the corner of my eye, I thought I saw Tamlin. I blinked, and he was gone. I don't know what it meant. Maybe nothing. Maybe I'm going mad. I miss them all. Even the Keeper. I'm sure the Keeper would like to see you again. I'm sure she would. She loves to lecture. I bet her new first appreciates that. I wish I could have seen it. It doesn't matter. I'm here now. Maybe Varric was right. Shall we go out for a bit? I could use some sunshine. Well, it's good that I just instinctually brought Meryl with me anyway. Uh, journal. Always. Okay, yeah. Straw. Okay, so last straw was talking about on the loose. Okay, cool. Opinions. Okay, she just has one of those hollow statues. I don't know, I just saw it out of the corner of my eye and I never even realized it, really. Uh, let's go to the hangman. Patrol. 
controller did a weird thing. It's doing it again. There we go. How have you been? You don't have to keep checking up on me. I'm fine. I'm just here for the rat flavored whiskey. Right. Remember what you said after the mess with the Kunari. I'm proud of you for doing the right thing. It may have been the right thing, but it was also the dumb thing. The relic was mine. I should have kept running. I couldn't have saved Kirkwall without you. Bullshit. You could have stormed the keep and slaughtered all those Canari if you had to. You and Aveline. I mean, look at her. She's a woman-shaped battering ram. The fact is, you and I have nothing in common anymore. You're a champion. And I'm just a lying, thieving snake. Whatever you think you are, I still care about you. It must have been hard to give up the relic, and I appreciate it. Whatever comes, you have my support. Well, perhaps it's time to stop hiding. And I do miss the trouble we used to get into. Tell you what, I'll be here if you need me. And with that, she rejoins um her party so now she's available as a companion again um the only thing the only options that give uh, approval changes are the last options or the last dialogue options so of course you're still my friend gives you a bonus to friendship and then the no you're not gives a bonus to rivalry depending on which one you are going for just be on the lookout so you and Hawk? What about us? I want to make sure I get all the details right when I tell this story. Did you sweep her off her feet, or was it the other way around? I'm not telling you anything but this. There was no actual sweeping involved. Every little bit helps, Elf. <sighs> Sir? Okay. Whatever, man. I just like talking to him in his room, you know? If you think that oh. was bad, I should tell you about the Black Marsh. <laughs> See, when you say things like that, Blondie, it just makes me glad I didn't know you sooner. Who goes to a place named Black Marsh on purpose? Now, they called it Beer Marsh. No, still doesn't work. You've got a point. The marsh part does cancel out anything else. Flower Marsh, Kitten Marsh. No, no good. Ah, you've got company. I'll see you later. Hawk, what can I do for you? What was Anders here for? Only place in Kirkwall he can get a decent drink. Blondie comes by here and I put him on my tab. He's got some stories about his days in Ferelden that sound implausible, even to me. He's not bad for a mage. Crazy, but that's most everyone in this city. I'm not here on business. Just dropping by. Drinking is business, champion. You know that. <laughs> so, what's the word in Lowtown, Varric? Nothing you don't know already. The Viscount's departure, a vacuum of power, troubles brewing. Get rid of one thread and another appears. I'm starting to think this city's in love with Crisis. Hope you're ready for it, my friend. I'm keeping Bianca close. Do you ever feel like the world's getting simpler? Storm and look him like before. everything. Okay, that was. Is a lot less complex than that. Okay, where do we want to go to next? Uh, we do Gamlin's Greatest Treasures at night, but we'll go to Dark Town. Oh no, we can go straight to Anders Clinic to talk to Anders cool. We don't have to go all the way through Dark Town to get here. You think I don't know the city guard is just another arm of the Templars? That is completely unfair. If they show up here, I'll know who to blame. That's all I'm saying. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to see that. I just can't be too careful. Now that the Knight Commander has basically appointed herself Viscount. 
She's just waiting for the first legitimate excuse to drag me off to the circle. You're our one hope. The champion of the city and open apostate. But it's not enough. The mage underground is all but destroyed. And those left have turned to blood magic as their only option. Which Meredith knows will prevent any chance of the public taking their side. They're still us. I don't know how you continue to believe in me. How can people be so blind? The blight was stopped only with the aid of two mages. One an apostate. But it makes no difference. The Chantry set us on this path long ago. It would take something truly catastrophic to change people's thinking now. Oh, outside of Andrew's clinic, there's rubble on the ground with a raven feather and a health potion. Interesting. Your master must have been a terrible man to make you hate mages so. He is a terrible man. He's not dead. We're not all like him. How often I hear that, and yet how often I find it's not true. The Keepers are different. They exist to preserve the old ways and to protect our people. And none of them would ever fall prey to a demon or perform blood magic. It's impossible to talk to you. I like that you looked... Oh, Cardathus. Um, it was nice that we get to see some action on screen. Um... Interesting. Uh, twenty eight silver, eighty four copper. Don't know why a card of thugs or assassins came after me. Uh, we're not gonna do Gamblin's quest. I just need to find the exit. What's it? Okay. Oh, good. They finally got her corpse. That's very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, let's leave the area. Um, who else do we have? So we have Aveline and Fenris left. I think so. Let's go to the Viscount's keep. <clears throat> Fenris will be the last person that we talk to. I feel like romance demands it. New quest justice? Hold on. <laughs> Where is it? No. Speak to Anders and his clinic and under No. <laughs> I was just there. <laughs> Dang it. I knew it. I knew that if we talked to somebody that we might get a, a new quest. So we'll just leave that there for right now. Oh gosh, there's Templars all over the place. The first enchanter is playing a dangerous game. You would do well not to help him. Is there the a story behind the anchor? There's a story oh, behind gosh. everything, Daisy. Good luck getting in. So tell me. I've been waiting all I can't. Why not? Again, <laughs> there was a girl, and I made a promise. Bianca is the only story I can never tell. You can't say that. Now I want to know even more. <laughs> That was the idea, Daisy. Also, was that guy talking about waiting to see the Viscount and he's been waiting for days and I'm just like, oh honey, he's not here anymore. Who's this? Oh, it's just some patrolling guy. Uh, Strangely, this is the around. best place in the city for working shell games and changing forged coins. Oh, David Prime. Um... Varric, uh, woven bracelet and ornate amulet in one cake. of the rooms in the barracks. Bring the door. Don't mind me, gentlemen. Meryl, please. Uh, opening this door over here. Uh, nothing, but there's a simple chest. Engraved armband and an ornate belt. And when we're done, we can go talk to Aveline. Ooh. Oh, we rem I remember her. I mean, we don't know her name, or I can't remember her name, but we've seen her. Guardsman, duties for the week will be... Lowtown canvas. Five on, three off. City perimeter by twos. Clear by second watch. Training recruits full metal by week's end. Anything else, Captain? No. 
Thank you. Donick is a good man. I'm sorry, was there something you wanted? You never said how your three weeks in Orlais went. You're right. I didn't. So how was it? Oh! <laughs> Anything else? Your men could give the Templars a run for their sovereigns. They've had to. As long as there's no Viscount, the Order thinks they can bark at any man in uniform. I won't have it. The people of Kirkwall need to see themselves in their guard. Lose that connection, we're just targets. Kirkwall seems to have rallied around you. I try to keep order, and people appreciate that. Everything else is going insane. A few complaints here and there, but for the most part, I think everyone's just glad the guard has been stable for a few years. Just checking in? Need anything? Yes, there's something. Come back soon. I'll get into it then. I'll see you later. Of course, Hawk. Champions and captains. I'm sorry, are her and Donick now married? I... I didn't even get an invite to the wedding. Oh. That's kind of unfortunate. Actually, really sad. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can talk right here. Right here's fine. Better. Are you certain it's her? An elf matching your description on the ship you named. And alone, as far as I could tell. I need to know if it's a trap. I did as you asked, Fenris. Now it's up to you. You talk to him, Hawk. I've had my fill for today. Fenhedis, first of us. Maybe I can help, Fenris. It's my sister. I didn't tell you, but I followed up on Hadriana's information. Everything she said was true. I had to keep it quiet, but I eventually contacted Verania and sent her coin enough to come meet me. And now she's here. She was in Carinus after all. My sister left Magister Araman's service, and I found her in Minrathus. That made things more difficult. But according to the men I paid, it's just as Hadriana said. She's not a slave. She's a tailor, in fact. Getting a letter to her was difficult, and she didn't believe me at first. But she's finally come. You're worried Daenerys knows? The more it seems he doesn't know, the more certain I become he does. Come with me, Hawk. I need you there when I meet her. Where is she? If we go to the Hanged Man during the day, she'll be there. For the next week, at least. It would mean a lot to me. That's all I ask. New quest. Alone. Okay. For a second, I was confused why Varric was standing behind me. I was like, oh, frick. Man, you don't sneak up on me like that. But no, I forgot. I showed up here with a group of people. I try not to. I need to remember. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. For a second, I thought that Varric, I mean Fenris, had cleared out the bodies in his keep, I mean in his mansion, but he has not. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, I try not to bring anybody with me, but I made the mistake of bringing people with me, because I wanted to hear dialogue, as it being the first episode of the, the, um, the act. <clears throat> but, yeah. So, next time, um, oh gosh, I kind of want to do the time-sensitive quests now. Which is justice and alone, which are very. I don't want to. That or what? The helping s rescue some girl? But who needs rescuing? That's what it was. So. I don't know. I guess I'm playing it by ear. I definitely want to do um, Memento of the Past at the beginning of this act before I really get into anything else I really want to do that and get it out of the way because I've been meaning to I wanted to do it at the end of last act but I kind of rushed myself and I should have just done it but yeah but we're gonna do it act three and everything it kind of makes sense now now that we've seen Carver now my brain's just like yeah I totally want to do this I want to get it done so yeah next time will be a surprise I'll figure it out um 
I'm going to see if there's really any time crunch to the companion quests and to any other quests that need to be done within a certain amount of time. Because I know that Fenris' mission and the last act needed to be done within a certain amount of time. And I want to see if there is. And if there isn't, then a memento of the past is going to get started. We're going to be starting the legacy quest with the legacy DLC. And we'll go on from there. So, yeah. Uh, in any case... Until next time.